While only on five, a Cleveland Heights mother says mismanagement at her son's charter school is forcing him to miss class. So she called us for help after dealing with several days of no bus service. Our Derek Waller live right now. And Derek, that is just the beginning of her grievances. Danita, she says it started with the lack of transportation, and then she says when the school did put in a bus stop, they put it right here at Superior and Euclid in East Cleveland. That is several blocks down the hill from where they live in Cleveland Heights. I'm worried about my son's attendance record. Ebony Payne tells me that new bus stop is also dangerous, right next to a gas station where a man was murdered in May. Her 13-year-old son, Hassan, goes to East Academy in Cleveland. It's a publicly funded charter school managed by the for-profit SL schools. We called and then dropped by, but the principal locked me out. Please, sir. Please Why? close the door. Well, what's the issue with the transportation? And called security. But a spokesperson later told me this was a result of miscommunication and that Isan's bus stop was moved closer to his home. They just neglected to tell him or his mother. She just rolled right past me and I was mad. I had to walk back up the hill in the rain. They're confused. They don't have anything together. They're unorganized. It's just a lot of problems going on with this school. And a self school tells me they have now fixed the issue and communicated that bus stop change to Ebony and her son. The bus stop is now up that hill a little closer to their Cleveland Heights home. Live in East Cleveland, Derek Waller, News Channel 5.